And it's funny that you mentioned the Auditor General, my friends of the people. On September 3rd, uh, an incident took place at our council chambers that I am deeply ashamed of. And it showed that democracy had died in Oshawa, that the outspoken citizenry was being physically denied the opportunity to voice their opposition or their concerns going forward. And you talk about the uh, depot, and you talk about how it was needed. Well, I understand over 10 years you can pull out all kinds of reports, but they're all contradictory. And they don't stand cold water because you really didn't have a business plan. So I'm going to say this. I, Ludovano, if elected to the office of mayor for the city of Oshawa, hereby make the solemn pledge to uphold the office and lead the council with respect, integrity, guided by law and the people of Oshawa, who I am serving. I'm going to reiterate some of the key points on my platform as well. Obviously, taxes are and will continue to be a priority. We cannot continue to operate with a business as usual attitude. And we must get our financial house in order. Under our current council, we received an F from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Achievement not to be proud of. I propose, if elected, that we expand economic development, streamline government, eliminate duplication and sole sourcing, and find efficiencies in day-to-day -day operations to reduce our debt and rebuild our depleted reserves. We need to eliminate, or at the very least, reduce the cost prohibitive user fees for programs at CBU operated facilities that we've already paid for. Seniors and those on fixed incomes are facing even more challenges as the burden of ever increasing charge costs stress their budgets, making it even more difficult to take advantage of services that might otherwise be beneficial to their physical and mental well-being. I believe with my leadership and vision for the recently required waterfront that it could become a beautiful pedestrian friendly marketplace, restaurants, galleries, amphitheater, mixed with low-rise condos and a marina. What about the downtown core? A comprehensive plan to attract new businesses while keeping the current businesses viable would create vibrant focal points for our city. Youth employment is another issue that commands a new council's focus and if elected, will be a priority. It's clear we need new leadership and with your vote, I will do better. When you step to the poll to cast your vote, ask yourself these questions. Do you want Oshawa to move forward or step back? Do you want a leader with vision or one who is familiar? On October 27th, vote for new leadership and vision. Vote for positive change. Vote for respectful, responsible government. Vote Ludovano for Oshawa.